Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're reading the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita and we're on the, the second chapter and we're hearing about how Narada Muni is looking for the person who got the greatest mercy of Krishna. So Narada Muni had gone to the heavenly planets and he'd gone to Indra, but Indra sent him to Brahma. And now Brahma is telling him, actually, you should go to Shiva. Yeah, so Lord Brahma is describing, we're hearing Lord Brahma describe the glories of Lord Shiva. So this is text number 84. This is text number 84 of the second chapter. So by Krishna's grace, Lord Shiva and his wife are able to give liberation to people like me, Brahma says, to people like me I, who eagerly want it. So, in, important demigods like Indra and Lord Brahma, they enjoy, the, they have high positions in the affairs of the universe. And they, be, they carry, they do their duty for many millions of years according to our time. And after some time they, 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 they get a bit tired of the burden. So, because they're doing so much service overseeing the universe, they think about getting liberation. They think that it would be nice to, to move on, to get out of the administration, to give up all the managing and to think about liberation. Yeah. In the heavenly planets, in the heavenly planets, there's a lot of opulence, it's very, you know, very luxurious. But there are many demigods who actually keep the desire, they, they think it, they would like to get liberation, they just get tired of all the opulence. Yeah, 
，呃，但是这些同伴神们，他们都私下里都很想得到解脱。So here we 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 see Lord Brahma, although Lord Brahma is actually an empowered incarnation of Krishna, he is very, being very humble and he puts himself like one of the the lower ordinary demigods. 虽然婆罗诃摩是主 Krishna 被授予力量的化身，但是他特别谦卑，他把自己放在一个很低的位置上。And so he says, actually, I'm just another administrator. I'm just another manager, and I have my own motives. 所以在这里，他就坦言说道：“我只是另外一个管理者而已，我也有我自己的动机。” Actually, everyone who lives on Lord Shiva's planet, they are liberated souls. 事实上，无无论谁住居住在主 Shiva 的星球上，他都是已经解脱的灵魂。And by the mercy of Lord Shiva, so many persons have become liberated, and even the, some of them go on to become pure devotees of Krishna. 其实主 Shiva 的仁慈。有嗯，许许多多的人都变得解脱了，嗯，甚至还有人成为了主 Krishna 的纯粹奉献者。Lord Shiva is eternally liberated. He's Nitya Mukta, and his devotees are also liberated. 主 Shiva 是永恒解脱的，是 Nitya Mukta， 他的奉献者们也是解脱的。And many fortunate souls. Who live on planets like our own planet Earth? They've also been blessed by the mercy of Lord Shiva, and they got his instructions. 有许许多多其他的幸运灵魂居住在像我们这样的地球上，他们也得到了主 Shiva 的仁慈祝福。And by the instructions of Lord Shiva, which they got from Lord Shiva, these souls, these great souls. They actually advance in spiritual life. 通过执行主师傅给他们的教导和训示，这些伟这些灵魂，他们能够在灵修的路途上进步。And if we consider Lord Shiva to be different from Krishna, then that's a serious deviation in spiritual understanding. 如果我们认为主 Shiva 和主 Krishna 有不同、有区别，这便是灵性的灵在灵性理解道路上的一个偏差。Krishna can tolerate offenses against himself, but not against Lord Shiva. Krishna 可以容忍对他本人的冒犯，但却无法容忍对主 Shiva 的冒犯。So we say Lord Shiva. Gets the mercy of Lord Vishnu. Lord Shiva 得到了主 Vishnu 的仁慈 But we should understand that does not mean that Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu are different from from one another. 但这并不意味着主 Shiva 和主 Vishnu 他们的形体或者之间有什么差别 It's not like Lord Vishnu is different from the jivas. So in the in the scriptures, like the Padma Purana, there's ten offenses against chanting Lord Vishnu's name. In 莲花网是书这样的经典当中，列举了对唱诵主威士努圣名的十项冒犯。Uh, so one of one of the offenses is that if we see a difference, if we see a difference between any of Lord Shiva's qualities and names and those of Sri Vishnu, then that person he is an antagonist. He's an antagonist to the holy name. Antagonist, you know the meaning. Antagonist. He's 
is against the whole, is opposed to it. Lord Vishnu cannot tolerate offenses against Lord Shiva. Because Lord Shiva is the greatest of Lord Vishnu's incarnations. And Lord Shiva is empowered to distribute the, to the, in the material world the taste of pure devotional service. So, when Maya, Maya was the master of a place called Tripura, so this Maya demon, the master of Tripura, became very intoxicated with pride because of the benedictions of Lord Shiva and at that time placed Lord Shiva in danger. So when Lord and when Lord Shiva was troubled by other demons, like Vrikasura, at that time the Supreme Lord saved him. And sometimes, just to show the glories of Lord Shiva, Sometimes Lord Krishna will worship Lord Shiva with devotion. And so it happened that one time Lord Shiva gave power to this demon Maya Danava so that the demon could construct this uh, Tripura. And in Tripura he made a well of nectar that could revive the dead. And another time, Lord Shiva gave the blessing to Vrikasura that anybody's head would crack. If their head was touched by the hand of Vrikasura, it would crack their head to pieces. And Lord Shiva also gave blessings, he gave a lot, gave strength and power to demons like Ravana. So when Lord Shiva would give these blessings, then these demons would become very proud. And they would create trouble for Lord Shiva. Just like the demon Maya made it very difficult to destroy Tripura. 
，就像玛雅摩，使得嗯要摧毁吹普尔变得非常困难。And Vrika, Vrika, he got the power. He tried to test this power on Lord Shiva's head. 当 Vrika 摩得到力量的时候，他试图。And Lord Shiva had to run for his life to save his life. He had to run away. Lord Shiva 不得不呃仓皇逃命 And Ravana he moved the Kailash mountain from his base. Ravana, 嗯 ，Ravana 他曾经就。So every time Lord Krishna had to come to save Lord Shiva. So every time Lord Krishna had to come to save Lord Shiva. So every time Lord Krishna had to come to save Lord Shiva. So every time Lord Krishna had to come to save Lord Shiva. So every time Lord Krishna had to come to save Lord Shiva. So every time Lord Krishna had to come to save Lord Shiva. So Krishna came as a cow, and he drank all the water in the well. And Krishna tricked Vrikasura into touching his own head. And Krishna, also Krishna, also. 也欺骗了，诱骗了 Vrikha 魔，让 Vrikha 魔触碰自己的头颅。And when Lord Krishna came as Ramachandra, he killed Ravana with bows and arrows. 当主 Krishna 以是 Ramachandra 的化身显现的时候，他用他的弓和箭杀死了 Rava。So Brahma points out that although Lord Nishingadev had chastised him. The Supreme Lord did not treat Lord Shiva's offences the same way. Brahma 指出，虽然主 Nishingadev 曾经斥责了他，但是至尊主却没有以同样的方式对待 Shiva 的冒犯。Instead,、uh, when he replied. Replied to Lord Shiva's sorrow, Lord Shiva's regret. Then Lord Krishna generally tried to encourage him. 相反，嗯，主他他看到主，看到 Shiva 的他的懊悔之情的时候呢，主反而试图鼓励他。And just the example is when when Krishna spoke to Lord Shiva about Vrikasura, he said to him, he said to Lord Shiva, he said, "Just see, just see how this wicked man has been killed by his own sinful reactions." And Krishna, just like Lord Shiva, talked about Vrikasura, he said. 看看这，看看呀、啊，这个邪恶之人被他自己的罪恶情境所杀。And Lord Krishna said to Lord Shiva, he said, if somebody offends the great souls, then they cannot hope to have any good fortune. 嗯，主 Krishna 说，谁要是呃不幸冒犯了伟大的灵魂。And、so if they offend, if they offend the person who's the master of the universe, in other words, Lord Shiva, then there's no hope of anything good. They won't get any good result.、It'd、just be disaster. They are to mock. They are to mock. Fun the universe, the universe's master. 换言之，也就是冒犯了主虚伪的话。And the Supreme Lord, in his incarnation as Parasuram, he also worships Lord Shiva, in reciprocation, to advertise Lord Shiva's greatness. Um, in the Lord Parasuram's 化身当中呢。
他也崇拜了祖师吧。嗯，以此来回应，来传扬祖师伯的荣耀和伟大。And then Lord Brahma continues. He says, "When when the when the demigods and the demons were churning the milk ocean, at that time Lord Krishna was also present." 主，我的恶魔继续说道，当半神人和恶魔齐力搅拌牛奶之羊的时候。So at that time, Lord Krishna, along with all the rulers of the universe, they chose to worship Lord Shiva. 在那个时候，主 Krishna 和整个宇宙的这些统治者们，他们选择崇拜主 Shiva. And at that time, Lord Shiva, he drank all the poison which had been created by them churning the milk ocean. 在那个时候，主希瓦喝下了嗯半神和恶魔搅拌牛奶之羊产生了毒液。And and then Lord Shiva also bathed in the presence of everyone assembled and was glorified with praise. Everyone praised Lord Shiva and everyone glorified him. 在那个时候，主希瓦就得到了。众人的沐浴，而且呢，就受到了众人的纷纷赞扬。So when the demigods and the demons were churning the milk ocean, they produced this hala hala poison. 当当半神和恶魔搅拌牛奶之羊的时候，产生出哈拉哈拉毒液。But the demi, because Lord Krishna was present, there was no fear. They knew that they were safe because Lord Krishna was there. 嗯，但是正是由于主 Krishna 在场，所以呃，半神人们内心并没有恐惧。But Krishna decided that he wouldn't deal with the poison. He wouldn't go, do anything with the poison himself. But he asked Lord Shiva to or. He gave the opportunity to Lord Shiva to show his greatness. In that time, Lord Krishna decided not to personally deal with these poisons. Instead, he gave the opportunity to Lord Shiva to show his greatness. And the Supreme Lord and the Prajapatis they all honored Lord Shiva by chanting Vedic hymns and other prayers. 至尊主和这些那些 Prajapati， 呃，他们都荣耀主 Shiva， 他们用伟大的赞美诗荣耀了主 Shiva。So Lord Shiva was so impressed with them offering prayers to him that he took the risk to drink all the poison。主 Shiva 对于给他献上的这些赞美的，给他留下了深刻的印象。所以他喝下了这个这汪洋毒液。But his wife, his his wife, Lord Shiva's wife, her name is Gauri. She was telling Lord Shiva, "No, no, don't drink it. Don't drink it. It'll be dangerous. You may die." 主 Shiva 的妻子 Gauri， 当时呢，她就极力阻止她的丈夫，说不要不要喝这个毒液，你会死的。So all the demigods praised Lord Shiva because he did something which even Lord Vishnu had not done. 所有半神人们都纷纷赞扬主 Shiva， 因为主 Shiva 的这个壮举，甚至主 Vishnu 都没有没有做这种壮举。And when Lord Shiva drank the poison at that time, his throat became blue. And you see the blue marks on the throat of Lord Shiva, which are the identification. You can identify Lord Shiva from that. So in the Puranas. The Puranas also speak about Lord Hari. Lord Hari meaning Lord Vishnu. That he's very compassionate to Lord Hara towards Lord Shiva. So Lord Vishnu is very compassionate towards Lord Shiva. 
《往事书》当中也称颂了主哈瑞，主哈瑞就是主威士诺，呃，主哈瑞对主哈拉的怜悯之情，而主哈拉是指的主希瓦。So Lord Brahma, Lord Brahma says to Narada Muni, "You must know all this, and you know more. To so to remember these things, you need only to use your memory." 嗯，主嗯主 Brahma 就对 Narada 说，嗯，所有这一切呢，你已经都一清二楚了，所以你只需要来记忆他们就好了。So Lord Hari, Lord Hari Vishnu, his relationship to Lord Lord Shiva, Lord Hara, is like that between a father and a son. To Hari, to to Vishnu, he 对于主 Hara， 对于主 Shiva 的情感和态度，就像父亲对于儿子的爱。And Narada can remember. Different pastimes where Lord Shiva showed his greatness, just like when he blessed Lord Krishna to have an excellent son, who was Samba. Narada 可以回忆起主 Shiva 嗯曾经做过的曾经展示的其他的荣耀事迹，比如说主 Shiva 曾经祝福了主 Krishna 拥有一位优秀的儿子 Samba。So then, Narada Muni bowed down to his spiritual master, Lord Brahma. And when Brahma saw that Narada was eager to go to Kailash to see Lord Shiva, Brahma then told him something more. Then Narada is like Brahma, this is the bow. When Brahma saw Narada going to Kailash, 他就对他说了更多的一番话。And we should understand, like we should understand, the father is like a kind of spiritual master, and if he if he has given instructions in Krishna consciousness, then definitely he's like a spiritual master. 我们当理解一位父亲就像一位灵性导师。倘若他要是在 Krishna 之学当中给予个什么训示的话，那么他的角色那就是一个灵性导师的角色。And Brahma is the father of all fathers among the living entities。在所有众生当中，婆罗诃摩是所有父亲的父亲。And Brahma's youngest son is Narada. So Brahma, Lord Brahma taught Narada. The, the Srimad Bhagavatam. Narada is Brahma's youngest son, youngest. So Brahma taught Narada the Srimad Bhagavatam. And Lord Brahma knows everything within the universe, so he knew that Narada wanted to go to Kailash, where Lord Shiva lives. Brahma is the universe. In the universe, he is unknown. So he knew that Narada wanted to go to Kailash's temple. Kailash is the temple of Shiva. So Narada Muni was up on Brahma Loka. He was at Brahma's place where Lord Brahma lives, and that's at the top of the universe. So he was looking in the direction of Kailash, and Brahma decided. To suggest a better idea, he said, "I have a better idea," because he saw that Narada was thinking to go to Kailash to see Lord Shiva. Hmm. Brahma 就注意到了 Narada， 他在呃，在 Brahma Loka 上，他在看向了主 Shiva 的居所这个方向，在向上看。因此呢 ，Brahma 就决定给 Narada 一个。So Brahma says to Lord Sh to Narada Muni, is he tells him he said, one time, Kuvera got the gratitude of Lord Shiva by worshiping him. 
布拉玛就对纳尔穆尼说：“有一次，虎贝勒就因为崇拜了主希瓦，所以得到了非常受到主希瓦的感激。” And from that time, Lord Shiva has surrendered to Kuvera's authority. Accepts Kuvera as his authority, and Kuvera's there on Mount Kailash. From that time, then, um, Lord Shiva has accepted Lord Kuvera's authority. Um, just in Kuvera's Kailash mountain, he accepted Kuvera's authority. So Lord Shiva lives there as a guardian of Kuvera's side of the heavenly spear. Just in Kuvera, he. 他所占据的这个天堂的这一个区域当中呢，主希瓦就成了普维尔的呃园丁。And Lord Shiva is accompanied by many different attendants, but Lord Shiva only shows a small fraction of his opulence. 主希瓦他有许许多多的侍从陪伴，但是他只是展示了他的一小部分富裕而已。So Kuvera is the treasurer of heaven, and he rules the the northeast region in the heavenly planets. Kuvera is 天堂的司库，他是掌管着天堂的东北方。So Lord Shiva was pleased with Kuvera. Uh, Although Lord Shiva has an elevated, although Lord Shiva is very elevated in the universe, he 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 was so pleased with Kuvera that he became Kuvera's servant and he became like Kuvera's guard. 尽管主希瓦他在他在嗯在宇宙当中他有一个很高的地位，但是他对库尔非常满意，以至于。他成为了库维尔的守卫，守嗯看守，就是看门人。他甚至为库维尔做一个卑微的服务。嗯、mm. ，And Lord Shiva with his with his wife Uma and all of his, many of his different associates and servants, they're all there with Lord Shiva in Kailash. 主希瓦的妻子乌玛。以及主希瓦的有许许多多的朋友和仆人们，他们都在开拉什那里陪伴着主希瓦。And this Kailash, Kailash, if you compare it to Lord Shiva's eternal abode, Lord Shiva has his eternal abode outside the universe. So Kailash in the, in the universe is very mod, modest in opulence and entourage. 主希瓦在这个宇宙之外有他自己永恒的居所，所以与那个永恒的居所相比，在这个宇宙当中的主希瓦的开拉什，在富裕和他的朋友的数量方面呢，只是非常的呃呃微不足道的。So Brahma is telling Narada Muni that if you go to see Lord Shiva at Kuvera's Kailash. You won't be able to see the real opulence of Lord Shiva. So Brahma 就对 Narada 说，如果你在库维尔的卡拉什那里去见主希瓦的话，你不会充分的理解主希瓦的富裕。You won't understand that Lord Shiva is so much greater than me. 你不会理解主希瓦比我。Just like Lord Krishna brought uh, he brought under his Lord Krishna brought under just like Lord Krishna is controlled by the devotion of his servants. 像主 Krishna 受被他的仆人的奉爱控制。Right, servants like Lord Brahma, 
and because of that he resides on my planet. Because, because of the devotion and service of Lord Brahma, Lord Krishna resides on his planet. And in heaven and other places, Lord Shiva lives in Kailash, displaying his pastimes. So the point is, Lord Krishna reciprocates with his devotees in the world, devotees like Brahma and Kashyapa and others, by living with them personally. And Lord, Krishna not, Lord Krishna not only lives with them in Lord Krishna not only lives with them in heaven, but even below heaven, on the earth, and even sometimes in the lower planet. And there's a planet above heaven, Mahaloka, and Lord also lives there with the devotees. And when recording stopped. And when Lord Krishna comes, he always comes with his different uh, paraphernalia and family and friends and perform his pastimes. So Lord Brahma is telling Narada Muni, he said, there's another abode of Lord Shiva which lies outside the seven coverings of the universe. So this is described in the Vayu Purana. So it says the material universe, we know the material universe is like a coconut, is covered with different layers. There are seven different coverings over the universe. So outside of all these coverings is the imperishable realm of Lord Shiva. So the planets, the planets inside the shell They're temporary products of the material nature. But the abode of Lord Shiva is not a creation of Maya. And in Shiva Loka, there is no unhappiness. 
在 Shiva 的星球上没有不快乐。That world is attained by the best of Lord Shiva's devotees. 那个世界是由主 Shiva 的最优秀的奉献者们所真的。And the one, the devotees of Lord Shiva who understand him to be not different from Lord Krishna. 主 Shiva 的奉献者们理解他和主 Krishna 没有区别。Not like, not like the Shivites, who are karmis or gyanis, or who worship Lord Shiva as an independent supreme controller. 并不像那一些哈尔米国报工作者或者是 gyanis 变家的那些 Shivites， 他们把主 Shiva 当作是独立的这层控制者来崇拜。So eternal and full of happiness, that abode of Lord Shiva is absolutely real. Lord Shiva's that abode is full of happiness, that abode of Lord Shiva is absolutely real. And the people who go there, recording in progress. The people who go there are the best of Lord Shiva's servants. 能够去真达那里的是主 Shiva 的最优秀的仆人。The Lord Shiva is served by the by all these great great by many great personalities. He reveals himself in his full splendor, surrounded by companions who share opulence and beauty equal to his. 在那里，主 Shiva 就由他的最优秀的、出色的呃仆人们所侍奉。他在那里展示了他全部的辉煌。他由那些呃和他拥有同样的富裕和美丽的同伴们所环绕。And the per the personal deity of Lord Shiva is Lord Sankarshan. And Lord Sankarshan is not different from Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva's personal image is Lord Sankarshan. Lord Sankarshan and him have no difference. So Lord Shiva displays many wonders. Lord Shiva displays many wonders. So this we're this, we're describing. This is the original abode of Lord Shiva, and it displaces full opulence. We just described the original abode of Lord Shiva. It displays full opulence. It has the eternal 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 Assets, his own assets of religion and wealth and everything. These riches include those long-lasting temples, planes, and unparalleled personal wealth, his personal wealth, including religion, wealth, and freedom. As well as his, he also displays his devotion to the Supreme Lord. 他还展示了他对至尊主的奉爱。And he shows his different symbols of rulership because he has he has jewelry and he has different fans and royal umbrellas, which are greater than even Brahma and the other demigods. 主 Shiva 有他特有的这个展展示他统治权的象征，比如说珠宝，嗯，还有浮尘以及皇室的华盖，这些都超过了 Brahma 和其他半神人。And on Shiva Loka, Lord Shiva always worships the Lord 
in the form of Sankarshan, who has thousands of serpent hoods. So Lord Sankarshan and Lord Shiva are both incarnations of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So they are not different. So when the time comes for the universe to be annihilated, Rudra will destroy, Rudra will appear from Sankarshan to destroy everything. So that Rudra, he is the, an, an aspect of Lord Shiva who presides over the material mode of ignorance. So when people see Lord Shiva worshipping Sankarshan, they become astonished. They can see that they're both expansions of the Supreme Lord. And one expansion of the Supreme is worshipping another expansion. And they become really astonished when Lord Shiva dances in ecstasy and when he offers prayers. And Lord Shiva's worship of Lord Sankarshan, we, if we can also see this in the earthly planetary system, if you go to Illa Vritavarsha. Sukadeva Goswami describes in the fifth canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, chapter 17. So Lord Brahma tells Narada Muni, you have the power to go there because you have pure devotion for him. So you should go there and take shelter of him and see the real mercy of Lord Krishna. So Narada respects Lord Shiva properly. He knows that Lord Shiva is an expansion of Krishna, not different from Lord Krishna. Narada so he, Narada loves Lord Shiva with spontaneous devotion. And he can go to Shiva Loka if he wants. Nobody will stop Narada from entering Shiva Loka. 
And if Narada goes there and takes shelter of Lord Shiva and offers prayers, he will be able to see the mercy of Krishna in the ecstasy and the opulence of Lord Shiva. So after Narada Muni heard all of this from Lord Brahma, then Narada Muni left for Shiva Loka and he was chanting, Shiva, Krishna, Shiva, Krishna. So Brahma had been telling Narada Muni that he'd been telling Narada Muni that he should have faith in Lord Shiva as being not different from Lord Krishna. So this was nothing new to Narada Muni. Narada Muni knew this, but still he was inspired to hear it from Lord Brahma. <coughs> so he was happy to get the opportunity Brahma was giving him to show the world the, the, the extent of Lord Shiva's glories. But he, Narada was also curious about what he would find when he got to Shiva Loka. So we're going on now to chapter 3. And chapter 3 is called Prapanchatita, meaning beyond the material world. So we heard that Shiva Loka is not in the material world, it's beyond the coverings of the, the world, the universe. So Narada Muni arrived in Shiva Loka and he could see in a, from a distance he could see Lord Shiva. So Narada Muni Shiva. And he could see that Lord Shiva had just finished his worship of Lord Sankarshan. So Lord Shiva was in ecstasy and he was dancing and singing the glories of the Lord. And his associates were playing instruments, music, and they were shouting, Jai, Jai. So Narada's assistants, Narada has assistants, one of them is named, his name is Nandeshwara and Lord Shiva is praising them and he's also praising his wife Uma because she's expert, she was clapping her hands. So Lord Shiva was appreciating them. Narada 
里呢，就怀着巨大的父母爱，赞扬了主 Shiva 的，嗯，助手，比如说 Nandi s h i v a r a 以及主 Shiva 的妻子 Uma， 因为 Uma 呢，特别擅长于在主 Shiva 载歌载舞的时候，在旁边击掌附和。So Narada Muni saw this. He was very happy to see all this, and Narada Muni vibrated his vena, and he was nodding his head to show respect. And he called out many times. He called out several times to Lord Shiva, "You are the greatest recipient of Krishna's mercy." This scene, the image of Narada, his heart was very happy. 拿来的一边弹奏着他的维纳琴，一边点头示意来表示尊敬。啊，好几次呼喊道：“你是主奎什纳最仁慈的最大的接受者。” And a very sweet voice, Narada Muni told Lord Shiva about everything Lord Brahma had told him about Lord Shiva. 拿来的以甜美的嗯声音。他就告诉主主 Shiva， 啊，由由 Brahma 告诉他的一切。嗯。Okay， so we'll stop here。好的，我们就讲到正课讲到这里。Are there any questions today？ Not yet， 阿拉。Should we keep talking？ 大家有问题。Will we keep reading？ Yes. Okay. So Lord Shiva had just finished worshiping Lord Sankarshan, his deity of Lord Sankarshan. 此刻，主席的刚刚嗯完成了对他自己的神像主 Sankarshan 的崇拜。And the method of worship which Lord Shiva was doing was like that which Narada had seen before, when he was. At Prayag, on Earth. Lord Shiva's worship, um, and Narada 之前在地球上的 Prayag 所目睹的那些崇拜程序呢，很相似。But the diff only difference was at the end of the worship, Lord Shiva showed the symptoms of ecstasy. 唯一的区别就是，在这个崇拜结束之后，主席伯展示了狂喜的征候。嗯 ，worshiping the supreme lord, worshiping the deity of the lord, is 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 attracts both the the new devotee and the advanced devotees. 崇拜至尊主的神像形象呢？他这个方法吸引了新奉献者，以及吸引了进步的灵魂。嗯、mm, ，but but the 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 devotees who are fully advanced, fully self-realized, they enjoy intimate relationship with the deity. 但是完全自我觉悟了的奉献者们，他们享受的是和他们崇拜的神像之间的亲密关系。And for these devotees, the Lord accepts even the simplest act of devotion, and it can bring ecstasy. 对这样的奉献者而言，主会接受他们最简单的奉爱的呃奉爱的举动，而这个能给他们带来最深刻的奉爱狂喜。So that's why Narada saw Lord Shiva. When he came there, he saw Lord Shiva was doing sankirtan, and he was reciting prayers to Lord Sankarshan. And he was reciting the prayers which are there in the. Fifth Canto, Shrimad Bhagavatam. He received these prayers. The prayers are in the Shrimad Bhagavatam, the fifth canto. Um, 
You are the only worshipable person. You are the supreme personality of Godhead, the reservoir of all opulences. And your lotus feet are the only protection for all your devotees. And you satisfy your devotees by manifesting yourself in different forms. And you deliver the devotees from the material existence. And the non devotees, they're entangled in the material existence. So please accept me as your eternal servant. So we should understand that Lord Shiva is an incarnation of the personality of Godhead. So Lord Shiva and, and the personality of Godhead are not different. Lord Shiva doesn't need to worship Lord Sankarshan to become purified. But Lord Shiva worships Lord Sankarshan to educate the world about the, the taste of devotional service. Now, Brahma is also an incarnation of the personality of Godhead, but Shiva and Brahma are not equal in status. Lord Shiva is not different from Vishnu in a more in a more uh, in a in a more uh, literal sense in in a, in, a, in the actual sense Lord Shiva is not so different from Vishnu but the post of Brahma the post of Brahma that's usually given to a jiva. But no jiva can ever become Shiva Tattva. No jiva can take that position of Lord Shiva. And many scriptures describe to us that Lord Shiva is not different from Lord Vishnu. And in the Padma Purana, there's the ten offenses. So one offense is if we make a difference between Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva's qualities and names and those of Lord Vishnu. Padma Purana, there are 
描述了对主位数的证明的十项冒犯，其中之一就是谁要是看到主 Shiva 的品质和名字和主 Vishnu 的品质、名名字品质之间有什么区别 ？But there's no there's no offense like that in relation to the non-difference of Brahma and Vishnu. There's... 嗯，但是在就是 Brahma 和 Vishnu 呃的。嗯，二者之间没有区别，在这个范畴当中呢，却没有这种训示。And, and the scriptures tell us that there are people like Vashista who are certainly jivas, and they will become Lord Brahma in their own universe in future lives. 嗯，有有些经典描述说。像瓦西什特这样的人物，嗯，他们无疑是个体灵魂 Jiva， 但是在将来来世的来世，他们会在各自他们在各自的宇宙当中会成为主佛的附魔。So theoretically, any Jiva can become Brahma. 从理论上讲，任何个体灵魂都可以成为。And this was told by Lord Shiva when he told the prachetas. He instructed the prachetas. When Lord Shiva told the prachetas, he told them. He told the prachetas, anybody who strictly follows his duty, his occupational duty, without deviation, for one hundred births, then he becomes qualified to get the post of Brahma. 他对他们说：“谁要是严格的执行了他的嗯固定职责，没有任何偏差的执行了，那么这样执行了一百世之后，他们就有资格占据佛罗伦摩的职位。” And if he becomes more qualified, then he can go on to approach Lord Shiva. 倘若他们变得更有资格，他们就可以去接近主 Shiva。So the jiva can join Shiva, but he cannot become Shiva. These individual jiva, they can join Shiva in the list of Shiva, but they cannot become Shiva. So Narada included Lord Shiva in his search for the person who gets the greatest mercy from the Supreme Lord. Narada 在寻找是谁得到了至尊主最大的仁慈的时候，他把主 Shiva 就放在了自己的名单当中。Narada did this because Lord Shiva is a special incarnation of the Lord, and he comes in the form of his own devotee. Narada Narada 就是这样去做，是因为主 Shiva 是主的一个特殊的化身。Recording stopped. 替他主 Shiva。是以他自己的奉献者的形象而显现的。The followers of Lord Shiva, whom Narada saw on Shiva Loka, were all great devotees. Narada 在 Shiva Loka 上所见到的主 Shiva 的奉追随者们，全都是伟大的奉献者。They were Vaishnavas, and they they had great They developed great bhakti for Lord Vishnu. Lord Shiva praised them for their skill in accompanying him in the kirtan. Lord Shiva just praised them for their skill in accompanying him in the kirtan. So when Lord Shiva was praising them, and he's praising his wife also because she was clapping her hands, he was praising them because they had shown so much pure devotion. He, he praised these devotees, Parvati's, uh, 
So Narada seeing all this, Narada became ecstatic and he also danced enthusiastically. And he offered his obeisances and he did not want to stop playing his veena. Uh, but he would show respect just by nodding his head. So he, Narada wanted to say something to show his approval of Lord Shiva's behavior. So Narada began to say what Brahma had told him about Lord Shiva's glories. So we'll hear more in the next class. Okay, are there any questions? Yes. Can you circumambulate Kailash Mountain? Yeah, yes. Can devotee go to circumambulate? Well, but you want to go to the Kailash outside the universe? Very difficult. But the Kailash in the universe, yeah, you can go if you like. Yes, go and offer your respects. Uh. 是的，您可以去呃，像这个凯拉山表达敬意。OK。我们看第二个问题是来自于大眼耳鼻舌身意带给我们的是短暂的快乐，可为什么痛苦会更长久呢？还要去了解它。Translate。Yeah。Our Eyes, nose, ears, tongues, and this touch and our mind can give us only temporary happiness, but the suffering, but the miseries, are longer than the happiness, and we have to even to cure those miseries. So what's the reason behind it? The reason is. Krishna doesn't want us to become attached to this material world. Krishna wants us to know there's no happiness in the material body. The material body is meant for suffering. We have to give up the material body. You should know, just a source of misery. Just the social uh, uh, A source. It's a source of misery. It's so easy to get suffering in the body and so difficult to enjoy. Mm. 
物质躯体当中呢，可以轻而易举的得到种种的苦恼、烦恼，但是要想享受这个躯体的话，却不那么容易，很难。OK。下一个问题是哦 ，continue， 孩子是不是需要去读书接受物质教育呢？而直接修习灵性可不可以呢？呃，是的 ，children to go need need 呃 ，does do our children need to go to school to 呃、uh, accept the material education? Can they can they directly 呃、uh, practice spiritual life instead of 呃、uh, the material education? Yes. Yes, they can. If you can arrange, if you can, if you can arrange it with the government, if you can get the approval. Oh, 嗯，如果您可以让政府同意的话，那么您可以让政府做出这种安排。Yes. Maybe, um, he means that the children stay stay at at home, and to practice spiritual, to go go on with spiritual practice and do not go outside. Yes. Homeschooling. Yeah, good. Okay. Ah, 是的，家庭教育也很好。The mother can teach the child. 母亲可以教育孩子。The child can learn very quickly at home. Go to school. Everything takes a long time. Have to waste so much time. But at home, they can study very quickly everything. 孩子们在家学习，他们的学习速度很快。但如果孩子们去学校，他需要花很长的时间学习，而且呢，很浪费时间。他们在家学习会很快。嗯哼。下一个问题是：三三个顶拜孤儿的莲花族，顶拜所有的奉献者。主 s h 是主 k r i s h n a 的伟大奉献者。他的追随者为什么很少是奉献者，多数是非奉献者？请教父，对。Yes. Yeah. Uh, Sasanga Maharaj says that although Lord Shiva is the great devotee of Lord Krishna, why among his followers there are few devotees? Most of them are non-devotees. Yes. Because they don't understand fully the position of Lord Shiva. 嗯，是的，您说的很对，因为他们不能充分的理解主 Shiva 的地位。Because they bring their material desires into the worship of Lord Shiva. 因为他们在崇拜主 Shiva 的时候，掺杂了他们自己的物质欲望。Generally, the followers of Lord Shiva, they're all atheists. 一般而言，主 Shiva 的追随者们大部分是都是无神论者。So the the the, the there is different potency. Lord Shiva has his cheating potency, and he has his real mercy. So most people who come to Lord Shiva, they come with material desires. So they get cheated by Lord Shiva. They don't get the real mercy of Lord Shiva. 主 Shiva 有不同的能量，他有欺骗能量，他也有真正的仁慈。所以大部分崇拜主 Shiva 的都带着物质的愿望，所以他们就被他的欺骗能量所欺骗，并没有获得主 Shiva 真正的仁慈。Yes. 嗯，下一个问题是，穆提达的大喜，明白奉献者们。
感恩姑姑的精彩讲课。既然主事本这么好，有的新奉献者觉得对主事本的奉献者姑姑的感觉，对主事本的奉献者姑姑的感觉更的的感觉更好，可。是否可以追随帕达帕达玛西瓦，当代主西瓦的化身修行去海拉什山和去的梦世界一样吧？我新奉献者觉得对主西瓦，什什么意思啊？不懂，我没看。我追随，嗯。请哦哦，有的这个奉献者觉得他的马西瓦大师非常有爱，仁慈，没那么多要求。嗯 ，Thank you, Guru, for your wonderful lecture. Since Lord Shiva is so nice, some new fighters feel that there that Padma Shiva. Master is very affectionate, affectionate, merciful. There is no so not so much demand demand from him. Therefore, who can who they, is that? Who, who is Padma Shiva? This this Padma Shiva Master is who? Who is he? Is this the name of somebody? Some person? 是是某个人的名，呃、uh, ，Yeah， it's、uh, the incarnation of the modern Lord Shiva. The, uh, the, he says in the. She says that it's、uh, the. The modern incarnation of Lord Shiva. What do you mean, the modern incarnation? 那您说他是主西瓦，当代主西瓦化身是什么意思呢 ？Is somebody living on the planet today, walking the earth? 是不是呃某个在当今年代活着的，在这个地球上行走的人呢？哦，嗯 ，He is preaching all over the globe. A great master. He claimed he is the incarnation of Lord Shiva. Hmm. Okay. So what did he say? That this master, his opinions, what? No. What did she say? What's the question? A question, a question that can the new fighters uh follow follow. Follow this great master, because they felt that he's so merciful, he's so affectionate, and they have such a nice feeling to towards him. Well, I think that in the lecture it says that worship is very wonderful. Okay, if he is an incarnation of Lord Shiva, can he do like Lord Shiva? Can he drink an ocean of poison? 如果他是主师傅真正的化身的话，他能不能像主师傅那样能把一汪洋毒也喝下去呢？呃、uh, ，Anyway, if he's a, if he's a incarnation of Lord Shiva, is he a devotee of Lord Sankarshan? Lord Shiva, we're hearing, is a great devotee of Lord Sankarshan. So does this Padma Shiva? Does he also worship Lord Sankarshan? 我们在课中听到说。嗯，主师吧，他就会崇拜着他的神像三宝山。那么这，那这一这一化身，他是不是像主师吧那样崇拜着？是主三宝山的奉献者也崇拜主三宝山呢？ If he's, you know, if he's actually an incarnation of Lord Shiva, he should do like Lord Shiva. He should be a great Vaishnava. 如果他，嗯
If he is a great, if he is an incarnation of Lord Shiva, then he should also be like Lord Shiva. He should be a great devotee. He should be a great Vaishnava. Lord Shiva is the greatest Vaishnava, so he should also be a great Vaishnava. Okay. He continued to ask that the Chi Kailash and Chi Ling Shi Yang, but it seems that is it the it's the same that we go to Kailash Mountain here and go to the spirit Kailash in the spiritual world. Well, Kailash is not in the spiritual world; it's between the material world and the spiritual world. So if you want to go if you want to go there, yeah you can go there. We don't want to go there. We want to go to Krishna. And those people who are actually devotees of Lord Shiva, they will if they get the real mercy of Lord Shiva, they will become Vaishnavas and they will worship Lord Vishnu. Okay, yes. Okay,接下来下一个问题是 uh, situated in the uh, beyond the Brahman Jyoti, um, in the situated in the spiritual world. No, it's not in the spiritual world. It's between the material world and the spiritual world. Kailash is not in the spiritual world. Kailash is in the spiritual world. It's in the spiritual world. It's in the spiritual world. It's outside the covering of the universe. Outside the covering of the material universe. Kailash Shan is in the outer world. But it's not in the spiritual world. But it's not in the spiritual world. Yeah. Next is you, you, you. 當今年代現在40歲的帕拉馬希瓦是主希瓦的化身嗎?在帕拉馬希瓦課程裡有許多祭祀需要花很多錢,這是被主Krishna允許的嗎? It's continuing with the question about Padma Shiva. She said, uh, she this master is more than 40 years old and is he really a incarnation of Lord Shiva and there are many Sacrifice Yagya in his um, courses, in Padma Shiva's courses, and costs a lot of money. Is it sanctioned by Lord Krishna? <laughs> no. Um, no. But he's a good, it sounds like he's a good businessman, he's making a lot of money. 
很擅长做生意，赚很多钱可以。Lord Krishna wants people to teach spiritual knowledge. He wants people to teach surrender to Krishna. Yagna is not the process for the Kali Yuga. Yagnas in the Kali Yuga we are not able to chant the mantras properly. So the mantras are not effective. The real process for the Kali Yuga is chanting the holy name. Krishna希望人们去教去希望人去教导世人灵性的知识，教导人们该如何成佛，就像Krishna成佛。Yagya这个程序呢，并不适用于卡利年代。那因为卡利年的人不能正确的来念诵曼曼陀罗，所以他们
continue? Yeah. So Mookie rather, so Mookie rather does he explain that the Padma Shiva uh, is like a superstar and he wears the opulent dress and also he dresses like Parvati Devi to give darshan to everybody and he seems, uh, seems very warm and compassionate and his teaching is very attractive but uh, but uh, as, uh, once the followers begin to follow him it, it really needs a huge amount of uh, money to do sacrifice and he can speak very wonderful no oh, really this is Chinese? Yes. But the Nigga Smoky Rada does it I should Panga Shiva Dash the Jiapu, Ju Xiang Ming Sing Chu Ya, Zhuang Ban Huali, I Banzo Poverty Nushen, the Daja Dasha, Xiao, Fishang Wenwan, Sibei, Jiao Yi Fishang Xiv, Dan Shi Dao Gunsuho, Yi Chu Xiao, Zhu Hano Ji the Ji Su Fi, Hadi Yan Fishang Mei Ha, but Zai Bao Shang Chu. Well, the, well, well, I never heard about him before. So I never heard about him before. Oh, okay. it, uh, but she says he's teaching all over the world. The, writing the teaching on the internet. Where does he live? In Kailash? No, Jimmy. Does he have his wife with him? Oh, he seems to live in America. America and um, and he is a brahmachari. No, oh, it's a brahmachari. No. Why does he need money if it's a brahmachari? So, like we say, you know, if it was really, if it was really an incarnation of Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva is very compassionate on the ghosts and the and people like that. Lord Shiva gives a lot of mercy to people. He's a Vaishnava. So, what mercy is he giving? This this Padma Shiva. If he's really incarnation of Shiva, where is his mood of Lord Shiva? Where is he showing the compassion to people? He's just teaching, making money, want, you know, charging so much money. Just something for the rich people. Uh Mukhi rather said that, yes, you are right, Guru. Okay. Yeah, many followers in Taido
many people in China follow him and they even sell their houses and do yagya. <laughs> there are too many yagya. Okay. Hi, you went to my. Okay. Woman Jintian Chang Dao Jer. Hare Krishna. Ganshi Guru Mukhi. Give them Ganshi Guru Mani Madaji. Funny. Um, can she show the functions of LinkedIn T1? Woman Jufuni man, how how nin song? Do Changa, can shu? What we don't, Mama do not like fish again, so how do you? Woman do can think her, Jang shu, Jang Hari Krishna, Jang Krishna do wrong yo. Hari Krishna, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, go back to Vrinda ki. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare 